Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Guess what? Both the Russians and the Ukrainians are at work, so they were not slackers today. Therefore, I can lie to you from both sides, the Ukrainian liars and the Russian liars. Okay, so I'm going to use them to uh, have uh, the uh, daily update of the front. So what we're going to use as uh, always Ukraine form and Sputnik. So liar number one, liar number two. What can we do? Uh, who are we going to believe? The Americans? <laughs> All right, let's start. This is Ukraine form. It is from today, the 26th of July 2023. Ukraine's defense forces successfully repelled the attacks of the Russian troops in Bakhmut and Avdivka direction. Remember, if you repel something, that means that comes to you or something that is over there. So they pushed back. The guys, the troops must have been, the Russian troops must have been in the offensive, holding back the enemy's offensive in Marinka direction. In Melitopol and Berdyansk directions, the armed forces of Ukraine gain a foothold on the achieved boundaries. In total, 25 combat engagements took place during the day. So, uh, according to the Russians, these are uh, this is the Russians update. The Russians are trying to advance here, whereas the um, Ukrainians are trying to break the front right here to cut them in two, here and there. Supposedly uh, encircling, I don't know exactly who, because these guys are still going to be able to fight. But anyway, this is the plan. From Zaporozhia down, and these guys... Uh, Donetsk and Luhansk try to uh, uh, push the front westward. So let's go back to the Ukrainians. During the day, the aviation of the defense forces launched 11 strikes on the enemy's personnel, weapons and military equipment clusters, and two more of its anti-aircraft missile systems. Missile and artillery units hit nine artillery pieces on firing positions and two command posts of the Russian invaders during the day, end quote, the report reads. Usually this is with a, a population, okay. In instead, during the day, the enemy launched three missile strikes, 28 airstrikes and more than 10 MLRS attacks on the positions of Ukrainian troops. Oh my, I'm not going to read the populated settlements. But the problem is, these guys are not mentioning that the Russians today launched about 36 missiles plus another three missile skins out, plus, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, plus six skins out, I think it was, and another three caliber. But the Ukrainians destroyed, I think, 36 of them. Unbelievable. So let's go back to the Ukrainians. In Volin and Polisia directions, the operational situation has not changed significantly. In Sivershchenia and Slabozanshchenia direction, the enemy maintains its military presence. Mortars and artillery were fired at more than 20 settlements in Chernihiv region, in Sumy region and Kharkiv region. So basically, they talk about this area. Chernihiv by the Russians, Sumy and Kharkov, Kharkiv by the Ukrainians. Nothing here by Belarus. And here is, according to the Ukrainians, Mm, the other guys are shelling, but according to the Russians, the Ukrainians are shelling. From previous uh, uh, updates, all these blue things here are Ukrainians shelling civilians and uh, villages. Uh, let's pick this one, for instance. So, uh, the governor of Belgorod said that the Ukrainian forces dropped an explosive device from a drone. There were no casualties or damage here. The same things and the several mortar shells at the village. There were no casualties and damage. So this is what the Russians say. Don't, don't mention anything about their shelling the Ukrainian positions. Let's go back to the Ukrainians. In Kupiansk direction. So they're talking about this right here with my strong hand. Yes, this is Kupiansk right here. Hop hip. Right here. We're talking about this direction here. The aggressor conducted unsuccessful offensive, is the key word, operations south of blah 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 in Luhansk region. And about five more in Kharkiv region were subjected to enemy artillery and mortar attacks. Let's see what the Russians are saying they did. So uh, the black stuff here is the 
Units of the 15th Separate Guard Motor Rifle Brake Brigade of the Central Battle Group continue their offensive, cutting into the depth of the Ukrainian defenses. Got that? <laughs> okay, next, next one. Uh, the Central Battle Group successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian troops using aviation, heavy flamethrower systems and artillery strikes. Here, probably a drone. Yes, Russian air defense has shot down a Ukrainian drone. And here, units of the Center Battle Group struck Ukrainian troops. And here, struck, 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 struck. Let's see what happens here. The Central Battle Group successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian troops using aviation. The same thing. Drone down by the Russians, drone down by the Russian, drone down by the Russian. What's here? They struck Ukrainian troops. What is this? Russian forces destroyed an ammunition depot of the Ukraine's 66 mechanized brigade. And right here in Pervomainsky said that there were, there were hits on industrial facilities that caused damage and started a fire fire. Okay, right here. Defending units of the Yug battle group successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. So here's back and forth actually. Not as the Ukrainians reported that only the Russians are trying to break the offensive. Now we're going to move with the Ukrainians right here by Artemovsk, which is Bakhmut right here. It seems like this little thing evolves that way. It hasn't been like this. But let's see what the Ukrainians are saying. In Liman direction. Liman direction is a little bit north of Bakhmut. So I just jumped from Bakhmut. I already said Liman is right here. This is Liman. And this is Artemovsk Bakhmut. So they're talking about this one right now. And then they're going to move into this one. The Ukrainians I'm talking. The Liman direction. The invaders carried out unsuccessful offensive operations in the area south of Dibrova, Luhansk region. The settlements of Pam 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 in Luhansk region and in Donetsk region were hit with artillery. Now with Bakhmut, Artemovsk. Ukrainian defenders successfully repelled enemy attacks in the areas north of Kromove, east of Druzba, and north of Klichishka. Oh my, I'm breaking my mouth here. The enemy launched airstrikes in the areas of Palapap, Palapap, Polopop, in the Donetsk region. More than 10 settlements, including Pam Bim Bom and Shahir Yar in Donetsk region, were struck with artillery, enemy artillery. So there's basically artillery, artillery. Let's see what the Russians are talking about here. The U Bella group struck Ukrainian troops. Pfft, very informative right here. <laughs> and let's see what's going on here. Units of the U Bella group destroyed an ammunition depot of Ukraine's 28th mechanized brigade. Well, see that what the Ukrainians did. Ukrainian forces fired five 152 millimeter shells at the settlement very much a lot of information. We're going to move here to Avdivka, which if you can see this little thing, uh, it's a, a little bit a danger of encirclement. And then we're going to go to Marinka. Let's see what the Russians are saying. In Avdivka, the Yugbala group struck Ukrainian troops. They also destroyed an ammunition depot of Ukraine's 110th mechanized brigade. And here, Defending units of the Yug battle group successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. And here, the same thing. Here, Ukrainian forces fired 21 155 millimeter shells at the city and its surroundings. Donetsk, let's see. The same thing. They fired 15 MLRS rockets and 101 155 millimeter shells at the city. A lot. We're going on to Marinka after we see what the uh, uh, Ukrainians have to say about Avdivka. So Avdivka direction, under fire enemy aircraft and artillery fire, Ukrainian defenders successfully repelled attacks on the area of Avdivka. At the same time, the enemy fired artillery at more than 10 settlements in Donetsk region, Marinka region, so south of Avdivka. The defense forces continued to hold back the advance of Russian troops in the area of Marinka. The enemy launched an airstrike near Krasnohorivka. The settlements of Palapaka Poko Peka Paka Paka Poka in Donetsk region were hit with artillery. We're gonna go to Shartarskye. That is down here in this area. We're gonna move this way. Here is Vukhledar, used to be a hot spot. It seems like they're all dead over there. So here is where the Ukrainians are supposedly uh, conducting their 
counteroffensive in the Zaporozhye region, trying to hit Melitopol and Berdyansk. This is the uh, the goal to hit here, cut them off. Let's see what uh, the Ukrainians are saying. In Shakhtarsky direction, the aggressor aggressor men made unsuccessful attempts to restore the lost position near Staromayorske in Donetsk region. The enemy launched airstrikes near Blachodatnie in Donetsk region. More than 10 settlements were hit in Donetsk region. All right, in Vukhledar. All right, here, where I said everybody's dead now. In Zaporozhye and Kherson directions, these guys are weasels. They lump them together. <laughs> So that's Zaporozhye right here, right here, and this is Kherson right here, and down here is the Crimean Peninsula. So let's see what the Russians in the meantime say right here. Probably drone, how many? Ukrainian forces fired two MLRS rockets at a village. Russian air defenses shot down a Ukrainian drone. A Ukrainian drone. U units of Vostok Bela Group hammered Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. Now we're going to move to Zaporozhye and then with Kherson, right? But first, let's go to the Ukrainian and see what the Ukrainians are saying. In Zaporozhye and Kherson directions, the enemy focused its main efforts on preventing the further advance of Ukrainian troops. So they're advancing, supposedly. Airstrikes were launched in the areas of Paraka, Paka, Paka, Paka in Zaporozhye region and in Kherson region. More than 30 settlements were uh, attacked in Zaporozhye region and in Kherson region, Ivanivka and Mikolaiv region were struck with artillery. Mikolaiv, I'm going to show you where that is. At the same time, the defense forces of Ukraine continue to conduct an offensive operation in Melitopol and Berdyansk directions, the one that I showed you, gain a foothold on the reached boundaries and inflict fire damage. I don't know what is a foothold on the reached boundaries. Okay, whatever boundaries are, but let's see what the Russians are saying. So let's go with Zaporozhye. Oh my, this is a book here. Ukrainian forces resumed their offensive in the Orekhov direction. Russian units of the Black Sea Fleet, 810th Marine Brigade and the 71st Motorized Rifle Regiment of the 42nd Guard Motorized Rifle Division successfully repelled attack by the three Ukrainian battalions reinforced by tanks. Russian forces held their positions having destroyed more than 100 Ukrainian soldiers, 22 tanks, 10 infantry fighting vehicles and one armored vehicle. So 22 tanks, they say here in Zaporozhye. This is where the uh, counteroffensive is for, uh, located. Yevgeny Balitsky, the acting governor of the Zaporozhye region, said the Ukrainian troops tried to break through the defense but faced a fierce pushback from Russian forces. The Kiev regime's troops suffered losses. Here, pooh, another book. Evgeny Balitsky, the acting Papa Papa of Zaporozhye region, said that Ukrainian troops tried to break through. Okay, and the same thing. Russian unit defense having deployed two tanks. Ba oh, wait a second. That Kiev regime troops suffered losses. Russian units defeated Ukrainian troops having destroyed two tanks. Jatin B and Godzilla Howitzers. What's here? Again, the governor of Zaporozhye region said that Ukrainian troops tried to black. The same thing is here. Drone. How many drones? One drone. One drone. And here, Ukra Russian forces eliminated a Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group. Here, the acting government of Zaporozhye region reported on shelling from the Ukrainian sides. And here, Vostok Bala group hammered Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. So this is the hottest spot on this war. Um, uh, coming from the Ukrainians. Let's see here. Now here, as I said, the blue ones are Ukrainians shelling the Russian positions and the red ones are uh, Russians returning the favor. So let's go here. Units of the Dnipr battle group destroyed the Ukrainian ammunition depot and a 2S1 Godzilla howitzer with ammunition. Five Ukrainian soldiers were killed and another two were wounded. Okay, five uh, the same thing here. Oh, no, no, that was something else. Destroyed a D-30 howitzer with ammunition. Five Ukrainian soldiers were killed and another three were wounded. I think the same. So let's see what the Ukrainians are, say, what are doing. Ukrainian forces shelled the village civilian infrastructure using cannon artillery. And here are just uh, bombardments. So uh, they didn't report their attack 
the Russians did not report an attack on this area here. It was a uh, an airfield here in this area. They didn't say anything about it. They attacked Kiev. They attacked on Dnipropetrovsk. Nothing. Well, uh, I wonder why. So this is a whew, fast update on the Ukrainian front, and. Um, as you can tell, they don't really match. I mean, what this liar says versus the other liar says, they don't overlap, rarely overlap, just a little bit like, <laughs> they just touch a little bit, a little gentle caress. They don't... <clears throat> anyway, my friends, this is it. Um, interesting. None of these guys, none of them mentioned the uh, Russian missile attacks. Maybe they went to bed before the missile attacks occurred. <laughs> but I don't think so, because they, the Ukrainians gave me the information at about uh, 9 o'clock p.m. And these things are uh, usually past 9 o'clock. The Ukrainians actually make it at, posted at 8 p.m. their time. So maybe they were not aware. No, they were aware of the attack. They didn't have the number of um, Russian missiles that they downed. But the Russians definitely had the information. But zip it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.